It's about 6 a.m. on this cold December morning. It's dark and the temperature is near freezing, but these soldiers have a mission to prepare for. In this behind the scenes video, we'll get an insider's view of what takes place in an army special full honors funeral. These are the soldiers from the Old Guard, members of the 1st Battalion, 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, and right now they're going over the finer details of a special full honors funeral. The escort commander for this mission is Lieutenant Colonel Jody Schaus, commander of 1st Battalion. Colonel Jason Garkey, the regimental commander for the Old Guard, oversees the operation of the special full honors funeral from beginning to end, ensuring that everything goes smoothly the day of the funeral. This special full honors funeral is for General Robert W. Cohn, who served as the Tradoc Commanding General before retiring. On the morning of the funeral is where it all comes together. March! Precision, timing, and paying special attention to details will ensure a smooth process from the moment the funeral begins till it's complete. Upon conclusion of the memorial service in the chapel, friends and family will walk behind the caisson as they head into Arlington National Cemetery. Colonel Schaus and his staff leads the procession, followed by the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, which plays a musical hymn as they march through ANC. Following Pershing Zone are four escort platoons, signifying a special full honors funeral granted to four-star generals. It is then followed by a colors team bearing the United States flag and army colors. Next in the procession is Quezon, which carries the casket and the casket team following close behind. A single personal colors bearer, signifying the rank of the officer, follows behind the caisson. And finally, a caparisoned horse, reserved for army and marine officers in the grade of colonel and above, closes out the escort, with friends and family following behind. Once the caisson has arrived to the gravesite, the casket team removes the flag-draped casket and carries it to the final burial location. The casket is then placed down and the American flag lifted. A speaker gives words of condolences to the family. The presidential salute battery fires 17 rounds to signify a four-star general. and the firing party fires three volleys for a total of 21 rounds, followed by the sounds of taps filling the air. The flag is then folded and handed to Colonel Garkey, who presents it to the Chief of Staff of the Army, General Mark A. Milley. General Milley presents the folded flag to the family of the deceased. In this case, General Cohn's wife, Jill. Once the flag is given to the family, the funeral comes to a close, and the escort makes their way to their next mission. Full honor funerals takes a lot of planning and precision in the execution, but it's the old guard's duty to ensure that each and every funeral is dignified and honorable for the deceased family. Reporting from Arlington National Cemetery, Army Staff Sergeant Jadal Samara.